Hi everyone, welcome to The Nose Knows. My name is Daniel. Thank you for tuning into this channel where we do fragrance and skincare reviews, first impressions, and news. Today we are going to be talking about one of the world's most expensive fragrances. This is from Clive Christian and it's a scent for men. I recently got this travel case of three of the most popular and original Clive Christian fragrances and this one is 1872, which we're going to be talking about today. This scent was inspired by scents of old that were made without any synthetic ingredients. They were made with just natural oils and essences from plants and flowers. And they say at Clive Christian that this was made in the traditional style using the formula and methods of Royal Crown Perfumery, which would be the English crown where this uh, company is based in England. So this scent, 1872, they say uses just natural oils. It has a really long list of notes in it. Petit Grain, which is a very classic scent, and Clary Sage are both in this, and they sort of form the heart of it. But I'm going to read through all the notes quickly. The top notes, and forgive me if I'm not saying some of these right. I, I've never heard of some of these notes before. But the top notes are lime, peach, nutmeg, bergamot, mandarin, petit grain, pineapple, lavender, rosemary, uh, galbanum, and grapefruit. Heart notes are cyclamen, clary sage, freesia, tigje oil, jasmine, and the bottom notes are patchouli, cedarwood, olibanum, labdanum, amber, musk, and frankincense. So there are quite a bit of notes in there. It is said to stay a really, really long time on the skin. I have smelled this one on the card, but I've never put this on my skin before. And as you all know, putting it on the skin makes it really, really different. It's going to develop differently. So I'm going to spray it on. We're going to do a first impressions, see what I think. And then I'm going to run some errands today and I'll come back in six to eight hours. It is about 1.10 right now. So I'll be back this evening to follow up and see how it wore. So let's spray this bad boy on. I think these bottles are beautiful, by the way. This is 10 milliliters. There are two other 10 milliliter bottles. And if you're, you know, new to Clive Christian or you like to change up your scents and don't want to splurge on a full-size bottle of this, which I think is, it's a couple hundred dollars. I'll put the exact price below in the description. The travel set is a great way to try a few of these and not pay an arm and a leg. Mm -hmm. Very masculine. Ooh. Green, but has a nice kind of flow to it. Mm. Like as it hits the nose, there's definitely a fragrance journey happening just with the top notes it goes through. I mean, I, I get a little of that lime and kind of fruity notes very slightly, but really I'm getting a green kind of accord. But then at the end, as it kind of lingers and this, I, I'm going through the inhale, the end of the inhale has this kind of smoothness to it that's really nice. Uh, I did do a first impressions of number one, which was, I believe, the kind of original Clive Christian scent. It was very soapy, but I'll be honest, I was not super impressed by the dry down of it. So I haven't really talked about it since then. It's, it's a pleasant scent, but it didn't really do much for me. So this one I'm liking. It's green, but it's sweet, warm. Definitely masculine. Um, but we're gonna see how it dries down because as you know, I sense where on the skin they change. So I'll be back in about six or seven hours and we'll see how this one wore. Hi everyone, we are back. It is now 7.30, so it's been just over six hours. I'm relaxing with a little cocktail. Let's see how the scent has fared. It's still there, but it is much lighter than it was. I noticed about probably an hour, hour and a half ago that it really started to lighten up and get to the base note. So it became more leathery, definitely more kind of animal. The green went away. The sweetness lasted for about an hour to two hours. And then the green heart really came out. And like I said, about an hour ago, about five hours into the wear, the really like leathery kind of accord started happening. So it's still on the skin. I think projection is pretty weak at this point, but how was the fragrance itself? Let's not talk just about wearability, but how was the fragrance itself? It was 
it was pretty nice. It was definitely very masculine, very classic. I felt that classic 1872 type of uh, inspiration in it. I'm curious to wear this one a couple more times. It definitely intrigues me more than number one that I tried a couple weeks ago. This one intrigues me more, the 1872. Um, I, I really like the opening, the sweetness. I really like the heart of it. I was expecting it to wear a little bit longer. I'm gonna see how long this kind of really faint dry down lasts. Maybe it'll last a really long time. But um, it, it's definitely a very classic scent. It, it kind of reminds me of <clears throat> Creed, not really in the way it smells, but in the way that it harkens back to a very classic feeling. It has that very, um, or a Guerlain too, a little bit like the Heritage, but like a classic version of Heritage. Uh, it definitely feels like a very old world fragrance, very enjoyable. Um, I'm going to wear it a couple more times and see if it's going to get a full review. So that is today's first impressions. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will see you next time.